Jessica Lombardo at the Utility Expo. We are here with Elliot Stone, who is a design engineer at Bobcat, and we're gonna learn about the E35 excavators that they are introducing at the show today. Elliot, talk to me about how this machine came to be and the new R2 series that's uh, been de in development for a little while. Yep, so basically what we wanted to do with the three ton R2 series machines is bring in a lot of features from the R2 series four to six ton machines that we have that our customers love. So we just wanted to bring some of those newer features back into the three ton series lineup. And on these machines, the operators are in them all day long. So I know a focus for manufacturers is operator comfort. So what in this cab will make their jobs easier every day? Awesome. So uh, on all of our new three ton machines, we have our improved, uh, we call them low effort joysticks. So uh, the same external shape and features from before, but we have new improved hydraulics inside of them. So they're easier to operate. And uh, especially on a long day, they get a lot easier and have finer precision control. And some of the creature comforts, what are they yeah. can expect Yep, here? so then for options, we have a heated seat with a headrest, and then we also have introduced our seven inch touchscreen display into the cab as well. And you mentioned some of the new features on this machine that can help they, it perform in more harsh conditions. So what, yep. what's coming in play there? Yeah, exactly. So uh, on our 33 horsepower model that uh, we have the Doosan engine in, we have a new and improved fuel system in that. So bringing that from our four to six ton machines back down, uh, we have uh, a new fuel filter and a new fuel recirculation circuit so that it's improved cold start and improved cold weather performance too. Great, well let's move down to the front of the machine and we're gonna learn some more about how you've made this machine really accessible and easier to operate the for. the machine, yeah. you guys have made some adjustments to make it easier for the operators to service the machine. Why don't we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so on the R2 series machines, we moved the auxiliary coupler location from up here on the boom to down here on the arm so it's much more accessible. And then we also added a clamp diverter kit. So as you can see right here, we have the clamp diverter. And so what the operator can do is come out, switch these two over, and then that'll take the flow from the clamp and then run it to the attachment run on the, on the auxiliary. Great. And the great thing about the Utility Expo is that we get to see these machines in action. So we are going to have someone hop in and show you what it can do. T66 with Tyler Zimma and he's going to talk to us about the max control system that they have on these machines and why that's really important for contractors moving forward. So hi Tyler, how are you? Hey, good, good, good afternoon. Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, what time of day it is. Uh, well talk about the max control system on this machine and it's actually available for all of the R series machines, correct? Correct. And why is that kind of important to the industry and how has Bobcat kind of developed their con automated controls? So obviously we all know technology is just continuing to advance. Uh, this is an opportunity that we saw. We currently have a radio remote for our machines. Uh, it is kind of an expensive options for certain operators to get into or customers to get into. So we developed a remote system that works through the iOS system. So an iPhone, iPad, whatever it may be that you have. So you have all the functionality on this as you would inside the machine. Uh, there's just a very quick mounting that goes on top of the machine. There's an app that you get on your phone and you set up an operator code and you are really ready to go. Uh, this is very nice for guys who might own their own business. Maybe they don't have a lot of workers at the time. Yeah. They're digging a, a trench with an excavator and they want to backfill with the loader. They can do it right from the seat of the cab. They don't have to get out and jump into the machine or go back and forth. So it kind of speeds up their, their operation with just a single guy. So obviously the thought of operating a piece of equipment from your smartphone is new to some people. It might be a little bit intimidating for them. How are you really working to educate them and what is Bobcat doing? You guys are the first in the industry to do this. What are you guys doing to kind of get the word out there that this is a good thing? You got the younger generation now that's coming up that's used to having phones in their hand all the time. So they're, they love it. It's been bringing a lot of attention to our booth. But you got the, the older the older generation that, why would no. I ever want to have something like that? I still got a flip phone. So trying to get them out there, but once they see it, they actually, a lot of them, that would be great to have, especially at a utility expo where they are doing things where 
you know, maybe they can't have a guy down mm-hmm. in the trench or wherever it may be. So they see the value in it. And I think something that we're gonna make a lot easier is we're working on a remote system that just clamps onto the phone and actually gives you joysticks and buttons to operate the machine. So when you're, when you're looking at the phone and you don't have hard stops, it's a, it's a little harder, a little cha- more challenging. So you're looking at the phone more than maybe a guy should. And I think that's something that we're gonna try to, try to work on or that we are trying to work on is improving camera technology, improving sensing technology, because again, it's something that the industry is new to. And you mentioned that this can be used as a remote system or not. Guys can hop in, in it, hop in the machine and operate it or operate it from your phone, depending on the application. Absolutely, and I think that's one of the really nice things about this system is it's about five minutes to install. You got an emergency stop and then your box on the top, which is gonna run off your Wi-Fi to your phone. And that takes over your machine. So you start your machine from the phone And then if I got in the machine, I can't actually operate any of the joysticks at that time. I have to shut it down from the phone and then start it from in the machine. But all within a matter of minutes, I can be operating back in the machine or I can be operating back on the phone. Well, thanks so much, Tyler, for taking time today to talk to us about the Max Controls. The future is technology and contractors kind of start needing to dip their toe in it. And now because it's coming. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, thank you guys. Thank you.